How Mother Theresa Became the Inspirational Woman We Know Today Mother Theresa, the famous founder of the Order of the Missionaries of Charity, who devoted her life to helping the poor. But how did a little girl who lost her father at a very tender age grow up to become such a powerful and influential woman? Mary Theresa Boyajou was born with the name Agnes Gongsa Boyajou on August 26, 1910, in Skopje, Yugoslavia, to Nikola and Drana Boyajou. She was baptized a day after her birth in Skopje. Theresa later considered August 27 the day she was baptized as her true birthday. She would later adopt the name Mother Teresa, where she was honored as Saint Teresa of Kolkata in the Roman Catholic Church. Her father Nicola was a politician and also a successful construction business worker. He was able to cater for his family with all the necessities, hence Teresa did not lack anything as a child. However, nothing much was known about her early childhood experience. Teresa was the youngest of her parents' three children. Aga was the first child and Laza was the second. Her family was rich enough and was able to conveniently afford to have two houses. When Teresa was about eight years old, she lost her father. Her father's sudden death left the family in slight financial straits. However, Teresa's mother started a textile business which helped her to properly take care of the family. All through her childhood, Teresa was influenced by her family to get involved with the church. It was reported that Teresa completed both her elementary and high school education in church schools, though some believed she went to a state-run secondary school. She was an active member of the choir, literacy session, and the drama section. Teresa generally loved reading, especially articles about missionary service and life in India. This later influenced her decision to become a missionary nun. Teresa was then encouraged by her mother to help those in need and care about their religion. Teresa's mother often took clothing, food, and other necessary items to the Sikh and destitute of their church parish. Such were her contributions that eventually people would say this about Teresa's family. Boyajou family had long been known in Skopje for their generosity towards the town's poor and downtrodden. When Teresa was 12, during one of the annual pilgrimages to the Church of the Black Madonna in Legnica, she first experienced a call to the religious life. By 1928, when Teresa was 18 years old, she was moved by a desire to become a missionary. So she joined the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary Sisters of Laroto in Ireland. There was where the name Sister Mary Teresa was given to her after St. Therese of Lysias. Later that year, Teresa departed for India and arrived in Kolkata in January 1929. In 1931, she made her first profession of vows, eventually was assigned to the Loreto and Tally community in Kolkata and was taught at St. Mary's School for Girls. She made her final profession of vows in May 1937, which supposedly made her the spouse of Jesus for all eternity. Since then, her public name changed from Gongsa Boyajou to Mother Teresa. Teresa continued as a teacher at St. Mary's School for Girls and soon became the principal of the school in 1944. Teresa was a woman of profound prayer and showed a deep love for her students and religious sisters. Teresa spent 20 years in Loreto, which was filled with intense happiness. She was noted for her courage, unselfishness, charity, hard work and natural talent for organizing. In 1946, while Teresa was in a train ride to Darjeeling from Calcutta, a train ride to Darjeeling from Calcutta for an annual retreat, she reportedly had an encounter with Jesus. She explained that Jesus' thirst for souls and love gripped her heart and the desire to satisfy this thirst became her driving force. Teresa stated that Jesus asked her to build a religious community to serve the poor. Missionaries of Charity After about two years of discernment and testing, Teresa got permission to begin. In August 1948, she left her beloved Loreto convent to begin her service to the poor. She went for a short course with the medical mission sisters in Patna. She returned to Calcutta, where she found temporary accommodation with the little sisters of the poor. Later that year, Teresa visited the slums for the first time. 
She visited poor families, nursed a woman dying of hunger and tuberculosis, cared for an old man lying sick on the road, washed the sores of some children, and so on. She was devoted to serving Jesus Christ in the unwanted, the unloved, the uncared for. She was later joined by some of her former students. In October 1950, the community, the Missionaries of Charity, was officially launched in the act houses of Calcutta. In the 1960s, Teresa began sending out sisters to other parts of India to further her service to the poor. To further her service to the physical and spiritual needs of the poor, Teresa established the Missionaries of Charity Brothers in 1963. In 1965, she opened a missionary house in Venezuela and soon found her foundations and missionary home in Rome, Tanzania, and eventually on every continent. Soon, the world began to turn its eyes towards Teresa's charity work. She received several awards, which include the Indian Padmashri Award in 1962 and the notable Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. She established the Contemplative Branch of the Sisters in 1976, the Contemplative Branch of the Brothers in 1979, and the Missionaries of Charity Fathers in 1984. In 1983, Teresa experienced a heart attack in Rome during a visit to Pope John Paul II. She had a second attack in 1989, after which she was given an artificial pacemaker. In 1991, she had pneumonia in Mexico, after which she suffered more heart problems. She offered to resign as the Superior General of the Missionaries of Charity, but she was voted to stay by the Sisters of the Congregation in a secret ballot, and she agreed to continue. During the last phase of her life, she was faced with increasingly severe health problems. Nevertheless, Teresa continued to govern her community and render her service to the needy and the poor and the church. Teresa fell in April 1996, causing her to break her collarbone. Four months later, she developed malaria and had another heart failure. Though she underwent heart surgery, her health status was not improving. By 1997, Teresa's missionaries of charity had gotten about 4,000 sisters, 300 brothers, and established about 610 foundations in 120 countries of the world. These foundations included hospitals and homes for patients suffering from tuberculosis, leprosy, and HIV-AIDS, soup kitchens, schools, orphanages, and children's and family counseling programs. Teresa elected her successor and resigned in March 1997 and then made one more trip abroad. She met with Pope John Paul II for the last time before she returned to Calcutta, where she spent her last weeks instructing her sisters and receiving visitors. Mother Teresa died on 5th September 1997, five days after the death of Princess Diana. Her body was laid in an open casket in St. Thomas, Calcutta, for about a week before her funeral. She was given a state funeral by the Indian government in appreciation of her relentless services to the needy, poor, and all religions in India. Her body was buried in the Missionaries of Charities headquarters. Soon after her burial, her tomb became a place of prayer and pilgrimage for many people from different faiths. Mother Teresa was a rare and unique individual who used what she had to serve and cater to the needs of others. She did not consider a life of pleasure, but left a record of invincible hope, unshakable faith and intense hard work, an extraordinary charity. She can be said to be a symbol of compassion, persistence and peace to the world. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we've handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.